that man's chin. Read all about it, sir. Hurricane Herbert, storm of the century. A storm. Hmm. That's the least of my worries. Change. <laughs> Everything's changing. Always changing. You never get that. What's a Joe supposed to do? Pulp Take a new case. That's all you can you do know. to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. The change. I've been hired to locate some kind of ancient book. Supposed to have inside of it the kind of stuff makes the Joe's guts turn salt and sallow. Real type mystical mumbo jumbo, which I guess explains the weird occults popping up all over Darkham. <laughs> you know something's left to center when the folks hiring you want to keep themselves all secret like. Cash is cash, though, and I could really use the milk. That something doesn't change. Put some weight on my man in rare and forbiddens. The kind of pressure makes a Joe's stomach jackflip, and he points me at this dark and ancient library. <laughs> dark and ancient. Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkham? Darkham. Not Gotham. Darkham. Damn. Most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Sometimes worse. Prologue. Yeah, I'm liking the music already. This should be well, fun. Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. All right, Darkham. Here we are. All right, let's go, big boy. Pull space bar to these hot spots. More Darkham. Darkham. Very descriptive. Very nice. Let me be in. Hmm. Popular book section. F5 to save. Okay. It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican Mysteries and all that. <laughs> Vatican Mysteries, okay. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. Hmm. I don't want to trigger any hidden doors or anything. I'm just here to pick up hints. Okay. Else around here. A strange medallion. It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. Hmm, maybe. The librarian. Eh, what's up, Doc? If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. Yeah, is that right, bro? Evening. Good evening, sir. So, how's things in the library business? Ah, uh, you know, can't complain. It's a living. Those uh, electronic books hitting you folks hard these days? <laughs> nah, not really. People don't tend to read much at all anymore, so uh, it's all the same to us. Wait a minute. Mm. Is that Jake? Jake the dog and Finn the human. It's adventure time. Yeah, I watched like two episodes of that, but we're, I know Jake was here. Okay, interesting. Interesting library you got here. Is it old? Yeah, pretty old. <laughs> it's old, huh? How old? <laughs> like really, really old. You might even say it's ancient. Ancient, huh? How ancient? Well, it was established by one Jeremiah Orn in, uh, let's see, um, 18... Uh, really, really long time ago. Huh. Thanks for the info. Sure. The name's Katype. No, I'm not Don Katype. <laughs> Here to see about a book. Well, you've uh, come to the right place. Yeah, it's called the uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, that book. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one. Why, sure. You've got your 
Oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? Fair enough. We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind, personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orne about the rare books department, though. At the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. You, uh, wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first <laughs> to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular inexistent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove <laughs> you so wrong. What can you tell me about these cultists? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes, can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything, but you can tell from the way they speak, they're not <laughs> all there. Hmm. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? <laughs> Look, I can tell you come from a, a different era, but between you and me, that's <laughs> straight up ageist. Oh, really? In that, uh, different era business ain't? <laughs> Touché, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it, it pays the bills. <laughs> Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. <laughs> there it is again! Oh. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that? <laughs> no, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, <laughs> plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. Who's that? Let's try to move this mic a little closer. Yeah, I'm not gonna be moving around much in this game. So I'm just saying something that's out there. That's where folks get strange ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages right? with their bare fingers. You know all about that, don't you, but All right, peace out, homie. What is this? Wait a sec. Look at the necromon necromon ne necromonicon hiding in plain sight inside the... Oh, Lord Almighty. Miskatonic Library. How plain sight remains to be seen... Gotta look at it AC ASAP. Okay. Looks like some kind of gargoyle, swallowed almost whole by those dead vines. My gut instinct was telling me I could look at everything a second time, glean hmm. extra information that might be useful, or not. I'd love to blame it on modern art, but this is really ancient stuff. It's just creepy as hell. Maybe I could use somebody, but this gargoyle ain't it. I should be looking at, I wonder. I really love the animation though. More darken, 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 darken. 
I guess we gotta open up the thing on the doorstep. It's a bomb, isn't it? It's a damn, it's a dang bomb. Crazy minds. You know, they uh, really have a vegetation problem. You know what, it's probably a bomb. Let's go look, let's look at it. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Now look Looks at like that, a package. Look at it again. It ain't for my nose, but I could uh, I pass it so. on to the librarian. You about to get this thing blown up, bro. Alright, let's go. That desk is literally <laughs> blocking my access to right. knowledge. You're listening to librarian to buzz. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's Oh, that boy you. ticking, dog. For me? What what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. <laughs> that thing is ticking. Is it me or is this thing ticking? <laughs> right here. And is there you type? go. Dog, you supposed to be a detective, my G? Come on. Gee, you're supposed to be a detective, and y'all didn't see a bomb? Real, for real, bro? Was that you making all that racket, Kerwin? No, Mr. Orn, sir. Someone set off a bomb in here. I was about to call the police. Nonsense. He had called this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was the firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I... Uh, okay, um, sir. What is that? Why is that thing glowing? Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? Okay, did anything to it? I'd knock it okay. off for sure, but I can't Gotta reach that high. Gotta reach it somehow. Gotta reach it. Mm, that's kind of... Yeah, I knew, dog. I knew it was a bomb. I knew it. You detective, you did not see that coming, boy. You are not good at your job, man, Mister Katite. <laughs> oh, a shoe. His shoe. Mister Katite's shoe. Get the shoe and throw it at that. Yeah. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Dawn sends you his regards, ugly. Whoa. Hello. Is is this what Dawn was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who would hide it up there? And why? You're coming oh, with me. Oh, that's a great book. idea. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. It's like a weird book ticket home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the worst that can happen, right? Well, I never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, what an evening. Think, boss, think! Dawn's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the boss cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. <sighs> okay, safely home. What? the hell was all that about? Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. You are crazy, dog. Hey, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? <sighs> You're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashaptu zidinjir kampa. Per Adonai Methatron. Oh, uh, dog, you just reading out of books, huh? What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, kid? 
God, I wish you could talk back for once. All right. Your wish has been granted. <laughs> uh, now you want your, ta your cat to talk? Hey, I learned in Proud Family, you never want your animals to talk back to you. And this guy's gonna regret this. I bet you. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing <laughs> with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. <laughs> right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait! Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, <laughs> huh? I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? <laughs> Talk! I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. <laughs> But how? I love you her. just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and, and reverse this. That should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, <laughs> are you? Right. I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's different text on it now. What the? Should I read it out loud? Probably not. Wait, sorry. I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. <laughs> My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Oh, brother, um, Kite, is her name? Kite? Bro, you need better names for your animals, dog. All right, uh, uh, let's pick one, I suppose. Shunuli mutuma anakulu ublui, zidinjir anakanpa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? <laughs> Darn it. Can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Um, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, <laughs> dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? Uh, haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumb snake possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. <laughs> So, are you gonna um, stick around? No, I'm gonna walk the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? <laughs> That's gotta be racist or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. Thinking kitty. A lighter? I think it's gonna take a lighter. It's my lighter. Gonna grab this for a while. That could be useful. Okay. Alright, what else we got up in here? Remains of cake. Unwashed dishes. We got a knife. That... That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Okay, then we'll just leave it alone. Then. What's in the oven? It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. Wait, what you afraid of, dog? I'm not sure I can bring myself to open the oven. I'm a weak, weak man. Uh, okay. Alright, what else we got up in here? Kitty, a tablet. We can Google it, I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna have some substitute for Google. They're not toys okay i don't play with them well i don't like this new situation at all <laughs> that's kitty my uh kitty yeah i know not the most imaginative name 
totally understandable. Really? <laughs> yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone. Oh, touche, <laughs> pussycat. <laughs> Why you let your cat roast you like that, dog? <laughs> Who's this dude? That's Ron Dilbert. Who's Ron Dilbert? Here. I guess we just have to use the tablet, looks like. No use. It's dead. I mean it's dead, dog. Charge that boy. My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Dog, you need to get your life together, my G. Okay. Um, remains of cake. Oh, no. I never eat lemons cooking. He puts stuff in food. Weird stuff. Okay. So we leave? I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Poster. Someday soon, I hope. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Alright, can Kite do anything? Not on your life, buddy. I don't think I'll bother her about it. Hey, Kitty, think you can open that oven for me real quick and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. I, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn <laughs> oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. I did it! Hey, and there's Lemon's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Uh, I don't want the cookie though. Except this cookie. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I think I'll take it. You know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. Yeah, I'll take it either way. Uh, why is it got grown? Uh, dog, that's gross, my G. Why is it got green stuff on it? <laughs> Oh, how old is this dude? Is there anything else in here? I think we obtained our objective. All right, let's just uh, let's, let's get out of here. All right. Oh, you gotta use this. Use the key. Lemons locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course, he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Boogie. This boy left the light on. What stuff are you on, dude? What is that? I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kind of scary if you ask fertility me. Fertility idol? What you be doing? It's a book Lemon left open. Let's see here. Page on the left says. A compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. No need. I can read it myself. Okay. Incense stick. Of uh, all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Uh huh. I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. Well, I guess we're using this then. Not sure why, but okay. Yay! Yay. Not sure why we did this, but okay. Gaudy hippie cloth? Do I want to know? Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Okay. What do you know? A pair of scissors. Scissors? What for? I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. 
What's in here? I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. What are we looking for? I'm not really sure. Okay. It's locked. I know it's locked. It's always locked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism lately. <laughs> Snob. Music guitar. Can you play it? It's one of those like ukulele. Oh my god. Tiny cute guitars. Oh my gosh, dog. Oh no. My band days are long gone. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. So we got scissors for something. Um, ooh, hello. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the closet. Any ideas, kitty cat? Today we have gained access to Lemon's domain of degenerate debauchery. Easy on the hyperbole, buddy. It's just a bunch of hippie stuff. It's a lascivious layer of laziness and languor. All right, Shakespeare, and now. Hmm. Okay. There's only two rooms in this place. Are you right next to the the kitchen? Ah, oh, bro, that must smell. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. <laughs> fridge? What's in the fridge? Open the fridge. Be a man. Hey, it's not completely empty. Is there anything in here? Dr. Fisher? It's a can of Dr. Fisher, produced exclusively with fish materia water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near no. it. No, okay, well, I guess we're taking this. She's not into sodas. Alright, well, I guess we're taking it. I'm gonna grab this. Not sure why, but okay. Okay, got an achievement for that. Ah, oh, these point click games, I tell you. I got my fill of suspicious sweets. Alright. So. Alright, kitty. I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just. Randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Oh, wow. Ugh, this patchouli sink is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. And girl. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. Yeah, a girl. Okay. Hmm, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? Is it... Will the... Will the text be revealed by the fire? Let's moderately heat this baby. Aha! Yes! Lord of the Rings, it baby. It worked! Lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, kitty, now let's see this list here. Mm -hmm. Woo! I think I got it. Go. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address, we're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. 
Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. All right, you've mentioned it. Let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. <sighs> All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? I guess we have no lead yet. Lead? Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that? Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Darkham PD, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town? Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. All right, I think that's a good place to end off. All right, yeah, perfect place to end off. Aw, oh, dude, I'm loving this game already. I'm loving the music. All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline bumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. <laughs> I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Hey y'all, okay, for, near, for real this time. That has been the prologue of the game. And this child has a very big eye and is looking at me kind of funny. I want to look at the camera real funny like. But see now, this guy is not looking at the camera. And Kitty is looking at the camera. But she is looking right dead at me into my soul. So, I'm a little scared. Alright y'all, if you enjoyed, please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Stay beautiful.